Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today. Just you and me. And uh, here's your bill. <laughs> Here you go. Time to pay up, guys. <clears throat> like, subscribe. Today we have a sponsor, Delete Me, which I will talk about in a bit. But I want to talk to everybody right now about what just happened with our election. And this is a time for absolute unity, guys. It's a time to come together and half of you, think about this, half of the world right now is angry about this. Half of you are very happy about this. Point is, is it's time for unity, guys. It's time to come together. It's time to um, put everything aside and work on being one country with a single mission. And I'm telling you guys now, you people say, oh, it's easy for you to say because you may have liked one guy that won. Yeah, okay, listen to this. I want you to understand something. I want you to think about this. What we've just lived through was an absolute travesty, it was an absolute abomination to everything that we've ever learned in a seventh grade civics class. And I want you to think about this. Never again will you ever have a party just pick somebody. It will never happen again. For the Democrats out there, you should be really happy because this will never happen again. You will never have somebody anointed. And for those of us that live in California, and by the way, I'm in Las Vegas right now because of the, the SEMA car show I'm going to today uh, to cover the event for you guys. You're never gonna have this happen again, okay? It's a new day and you're going to pick somebody. You're gonna pick the candidate that you guys are gonna vote for. Nick, what a novel idea, okay? You know, I've had, <laughs> I was out late last night washing the glitter off, you know? And uh, anyways, all the memes that are funny, Joe Biden waking up and did I win, you know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, it's funny, but you have to look at everything as a whole right now. You really do. You really, really do. Because our future, your children's future, your, your grandchildren's future, everybody you've ever met is safer today. And I'm telling you, whether you agree with this or not, you have to understand this, that this woman, people that, uh, that have lived through what she's done to like California, completely upside down. It's a new day. Letting drug offenses just go, hey, hey, they're just doing drugs. You know, um, you know, being on drugs and, and uh, it's just like, you know, your girlfriend, when she had cancer, it's the same, same type of disease. Okay, you're insane. Number two, there was a proposition in California, Proposition 36, that overwhelmingly passed. And you know what it did? It made uh, ripping off the stores, it got rid of the $950, um, you know, limit that you could have to walk into a store and steal from. It made drug offenses and certain crimes so that they're going to prosecute people. Imagine that. Imagine that. Now, again, if you're into criminals and that's your thing, you're upset this morning, okay? Now, I want you to think about a couple things that happened that were just unbelievable. Now, I couldn't vote. I couldn't register to vote. I, it was too difficult. I couldn't get down there. The Amish in Pennsylvania, there are 180,000 Amish people. These people have horse and buggy. They don't have car, hey, they drove up. Wow, did you see the new Amish guy's Mercedes? It's nice. No, horse and buggy and 180,000 of them went and voted. 180,000 of them voted. What was your excuse if you didn't do this? You understand? They believed in something. They believed that their farms were about to get taken away, so they voted one way over the other. Or did they? We don't know. Because they're Amish, I can't call them. But that's an, an amazing stat. We have to work together right now. We have to come together. I am telling you this right now, you gotta look at this and just understand this, that half of the people out there are furious this morning. And it is a new day. I have relatives that are very happy. I have relatives that are very unhappy today. And if I see you, do not gloat, do not spike the ball. 
don't. None of you do this. None of you need to do this. I am telling you this right now. Think of it, think of it this way, okay? The people that lost yesterday are not Yankee fans, but here's the thing that I know about the Yankee fans, because I've witnessed this. You don't walk up to a group of Yankee fans and say, oh, Giancarlo Stanton's a, 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 a wuss. Oh my God, Aaron Judge, what a fool. See what that guy did? Because they'll beat your ass, okay? Oh, okay. Well, this group's a little lighter than that, a little, okay? But the point is, is that don't fight. Don't do this. Just get together. Get together right now. We need to have unity. We need to have everybody be gracious and grateful and happy right now. But I'm telling you this right now. This is a good thing. And you can sit there and there's people, ah, I I disliked you. I knew you were here. I knew you were this. No, what I'm for is for safety and security. I met a woman last night from Ukraine who was crying because she said, I really think that the war is gonna stop. My people back home are gonna be safe now, okay? Didn't know who the hell I was, you know? And just, it was it was very, very touching. And just the, the level of hope in this woman's eyes were something that we could all look at. Now, again, do not spike the football. Do not be a jerk. Um, just sit there and, and take it because Think of them as Yankee fans. I'm telling you this right now, because everybody's a tough guy. Everybody's a keyboard tough guy. Everybody's, you know, out there, (laughs) you know, you guys suck and you're stupid, because that's what would have happened today. Orange mad bad, it it just would have been a joke. But understand this, guys, this was a level of change across the board that you're going to see. And again, I don't care who you voted for. I just hope you voted, I really do. But what you're going to see is you're going to see this place not get messed with right now. And whether you believe that or not, this woman couldn't negotiate lunch. And I, I just, it's a, it's a new day. It's a new day. But you and I can make a difference by being positive because you gotta pay the bill now. Because what's happened is this country is completely upside down. The uh, news media is an absolute joke. Sites like mine, guys like mine, I have a future. <laughs> it's a new day. And, you know, I've had four people, hey, we want to interview you. This is great. Let's talk. Let's talk working together. Okay. I had 10 people text me this morning before I got up. And yeah, I overslept this morning. It was beautiful. Okay. That want to work with me doing things moving forward. Okay. 10. It's great. It's fantastic. But you know what? CNN sucks. You're going to see the, you know, um, the dude over at uh, um, uh, MSN, uh, what's her name? That guy is done, okay? Irrelevant now at this point. Oh my gosh, that's rude, Dan, come on. No, it's, it's, it's factual, guys, okay? This is absolutely factual. You have to understand that it's done. The largest things were watched last night. Patrick Bet David did a live stream. Other people did live streams. Other other hosted live streams that you can't even mention. You know, can you say their names because they'll they'll take the video down if you say this person's name. Um, those were more popular and had tens of millions of people watching them over CNN and everybody else. But it's done, guys. The hate has got to stop. The fighting has got to stop. Okay. Yeah, I said some jokes here and ha ha ha, whether you think they're funny or not, it's it's irrelevant. The point is, it is time for unity, guys. It's time to come together. Be a better person. Just understand this, that if the Amish can vote, why didn't you vote? And the other thing that you should be just mad as hell over is this. I'm sick of the unions. Not manning up, I don't know another word. Woe manning up, whatever you wanna say. Personing up, okay, thanks. Um, and not backing their candidate. Because what sucks is these people go out and as our union is, you pay dues, this is who we want. Those days are done, guys, because what's gonna happen is union members are gonna go, hey, hang on a second. Shouldn't we look at other candidates and shouldn't we look at seeing who's gonna best benefit the brotherhood moving forward? Tell John to be quiet. That's coming, okay? Here's the one that should get you absolutely furious. They did not send 
ballots to our active service men and women that are overseas right now. They didn't get to vote, guys. Why? Well, you and I both know why, okay? Oh my God, they probably would have voted one way or over another. So I'll fall on the sword and just say I didn't send on the ballot. You know what I mean? It's, it's insane. But you should be upset about that. You should be furious about that. So somebody's vote doesn't count. If you drove to a precinct or you took your horse and buggy and it was closed, you'd be mad about that. If you weren't sent a ballot, you would be mad about that. But if it was coordinated, come on guys, what is this? What is this? People that are, that are risking their lives for you and I, so some idiot can walk around a, a, a green area and film, you know, come on. God bless our military. God bless the cops. God bless the firefighters, everybody. But here is the thing, guys. Pulling into Vegas and all the news media and everything yesterday, I am telling you, it was insane. The cops were on full force. There was, I have never seen that many, I, I thought something had happened because there were so many police helicopters out. Oh, this isn't good. What's going on here? Nothing, nothing was going on. They were just gonna make sure that if there was something going on, they were gonna be ready for it, so. Let's take a little break. Let's hear from our sponsor. Let's talk about our sponsor, Delete Me. One thing that most people know is that our data is constantly being hijacked by data brokers. These are companies that compile all of your personal information and then sell it to the highest bidder. There is a great company out there called Delete Me that will get rid of this for you. They will get rid of things like your name being on the internet, your social security number, your phone number, all your personal data, email addresses, your home address, your home value, so many things. If you sign up, you can get a 20% discount by using the I allegedly discount code. I did this and the coolest thing about this is that one week after you sign up, they give you a report of everything that's been eliminated and it's ongoing month after month after month. Check it out today check out delete me but think about this you don't want your personal information out there you don't want people to know where you work you don't want your email addresses all your personal information can be eliminated by using one service check out delete me it's absolutely fantastic save 20 percent today one thing that they set up that's very cool is you can use this qr code to sign up or use the link below but check out delete me today and save 20 percent with the i allegedly discount code now I wanna just close this out and you can be angry today. I'm not telling you not to be angry. I'm just telling you it's time to go to work. It, understand that these policies in this country have absolutely destroyed this country. Financially, you're going to see banks go out of business. You're going to see hotels that you have enjoyed get foreclosed upon. It's going to happen. And today's the day that all this stuff starts. You're going to see businesses, fast food, restaurant chains, you're gonna see a lot of people that have just been trying to keep it open. And guess what? It's over, guys, it's absolutely over with. They're putting a new pool in at the Flamingo. And you can see that. Please guys, unity, calm, nice, happy, work together okay it's a new day but be grateful because places like cnn they're irrelevant today they're done they've proven that lie 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 to you and guess what it's over with guys it is absolutely over with okay be happy correct me if i'm wrong tell me the who should i watch on mainstream media seriously tell me name them okay god bless america God bless each and every one of you. I am so grateful to each and every one of you, but understand this right now, that democracy works, okay? But I'm telling you, for those of you that are mad today, you will never allow this to happen again. Don't ever forget that. You're right, because what you're gonna do is pick the right man or the right woman for the job, and you're going to vote them in, and you're going to support them, and they're going to be picked by the masses, not anointed, okay? Again a joke, how this was ran, 
a joke how this was like the second coming of Barack Obama, who, by the way, I think he's irrelevant now too. Oh my gosh, did you say that? Yes, I did. Good luck, hope you watch this to the end. And if you did, you get a free pony. <laughs> Kidding, okay? Okay, there's more to come later on. But share your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about this, okay? It's a good day, okay? I will see you guys very soon. Let me know what you think.